Charlottetown and Hampton vote to amend the non-lapsing Article 16 that was passed at the 2014 Annual Town Meeting for the purpose of replacing the outfall, outfall culvert located below the Gristmill Dam on High Street to raise and appropriate an additional $147,500 for that purpose and to remove the contingency as, as to offsetting revenue in the 2014 Article 16 and to change the purpose for the 2000, of that 2014 article to read as follows. For the purpose of replacing the outfall culvert located below the Gristmill Dam on High Street to prevent flooding of High Street and to perform a drainage study of Meadow Pond and to assist in obtaining state and federal funding for these projects and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for accepted expend for such purpose any funds from the state of New Hampshire, the federal government, and any private source as may become available. Note that the that $235,000 has already been raised from taxes to complete this project and to raise the appropriate, uh, appropriation the sum of $147,500 that was originally to be provided by the state, which is no longer available to fund that said sum with the sum of $73,750, one half of the $147,500, to come from the unassigned fund balance, a fund containing unexpended appropriations from prior years as of December 31st, 2015, and the sum of $73,750, one half of the sum of the $147,500, will be raised from taxation. The non-lapsing deadline in the original article remains the same. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until the completion of the culvert and replacement of the drainage study has been completed by, or by March 31st, 2018, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Okay, this foreign article had a vote in pay. It was not recommended by budget committee by a vote of 6 7 1. And anyone wishing to speak, Mary Louise? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, by, by the way, just a quick aside for you. I used to, when I chaired the budget committee, always be annoying people about using the microphones. It's even with a small audience tonight, you want to make sure the sound gets through on the recording that's going out to the public. And it's really, really difficult to hear some of you. So if you could speak up a little bit, I know I bellow but speak up a little bit so we can hear you. I'm opposed to Article 20 and I will tell you why. It has several problems that I can identify. The idea of replacing the high street culvert uh, came up in conjunction with decommissioning the Gristmill Dam, uh, which was voted on but never accomplished. Uh, now the Gristmill uh, Dam replacement is out for a study, uh, engineering study and bid. And I think that if we are going to replace that culvert, it should be done in conjunction with either rebuilding the dam or decommissioning the dam. I think this is premature. Uh, I think that the, uh, I live in the area and I think that the war road has not flooded out yet. It is it, consistent flooding down there but it has not gone yet. And I'd rather wait. I think a drainage study is more appropriate in concert with planning the dam uh, pro process. Um, so I think this is, is not, not something that I'm comfortable with. I don't like doing the appropriations in pieces and I object to all of the articles that want to take half of the money or all of the money from the unassigned fund balance. I think that's a very poor way to budget. I think we should either raise and appropriate or forget it. And uh, I am not at all in favor of this article. Is there anyone else wishing to speak to this article? <coughs> Seeing none, 